How can you improve your fertility? At some point, you would probably want to start a family. But unfortunately, up to 15% of couples face some sort of fertility issues. Luckily, with a few lifestyle changes and tiny vitamins in your diet, you can improve your fertility by a lot. When it comes to fertility, especially for women, food plays a huge role. You should always opt for fresh fruit and veggies, whole grains, and even lean protein. Studies have found that losing even as little as 5% of your body weight can improve your fertility in obese men and women. Your diet needs to be consistent for good egg production. Swap out red meat for tofu, beans, or other legumes for at least one meal a day. Foods like eggs, nuts, fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and cod provide your body with omega-3 fatty acids. These compounds aren't produced in the body, so more external consumption of them can increase egg production and even improve blood flow to the reproductive organs. If your body is healthy, there are bigger chances of your baby being healthy too. This means you have to eliminate alcohol, tobacco, and recreational marijuana since they can be bad for reproductive health. More than five drinks in a single sitting increases your chances of irregular ovulation, something you can't afford if you're looking forward to holding a bundle of joy. Even light drinking can be bad for you, so stay away from the happy hour for a while. As for cigarettes, they're extremely bad for your egg production. The chemicals in cigarettes literally reduce the number of eggs you have. Staying hydrated has always been important, but it can be super beneficial if you want to boost your reproductive health. It improves blood flow and also makes sure your cervix can easily be penetrated by sperm since it adds viscosity to the cervical mucus. It's not just physical health that's important here. Mental and psychological health is very closely linked to the state of your reproductive organs. When you're stressed, hormonal changes occur in your body that tell your body that now is not the right time to have a baby. Cortisol, a stress hormone, can disturb the communication between your brain and ovaries and might even lead to irregular cycles. Exercises that promote mindfulness such as meditation and yoga will help you release this stress in a healthy way. Trying to conceive and dealing with fertility issues can be very stressful and can be hard to handle all alone. A study found that psychological help can decrease anxiety and depression in women and even lead to higher pregnancy rates. It's better to seek help before you hit your lowest so that it's easier to handle things when you have healthy coping mechanisms. You can visit a therapist to cope with negative thoughts with cognitive behavioral therapy. To get pregnant, you'll need to do some planning. Keeping track of your cycle and fertile window will help you choose the right time that increases the likelihood of fertilization. Moreover, visit an OBGYN for fertility tests and any other lifestyle they ask you to make. If you learned something about fertility today, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Have a great day.